In this video, I want to show you how to use StatCrunch to calculate a Poisson probability. So again, in the textbook, a Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution where x, uh, the random variable, x satisfies the given conditions shown here in this box. Ultimately, the thing that we're going to cue into here is that we're counting the number of times that an event occurs in a given interval. Typically what you're going to see in this introductory textbook is that interval is time, area, or volume. Now let me pull up a homework problem here real quick and we'll take a look at an example. All right now I'm looking at example uh, problem 21 out of the text homework book as our example. So again, I just want to remind you, um, you have already watched the My Math Lab video for a very thorough explanation and conversation about Poisson distributions, and the purpose of this video purely is to show you how to utilize the technology of StatCrunch to help you uh, in becoming more efficient and quicker in finding these probabilities. So we could always do this work by hand, and the original lecture video shows that to you. And let's talk about how we could use StatCrunch to do this. So for number 21, you're going to notice that problem says the mean number of heart transplants performed per day in the U.S. in a recent year was about 6. Now find the probability that the number of heart transplants performed on any given day is, uh, part A says exactly 7, part B says at least 8, and part C says no more than four. So I just want to point out to you, you know, you are finding the probabilities that something occurs in a given interval. In this case, the given interval is time, right, on a given day. So if I pull up StatCrunch here, uh, where do I have it? Here's our StatCrunch, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Stat, and then I'm going to click on Calculators, and I'm going to go down to the Poisson calculator. So it's going to bring up the Poisson calculator for me here. Now, uh, for this particular problem, let me flip back to the book. Right? For this particular problem, that is not our book. For this particular problem, part A says find the probability that we have exactly seven heart transplants on a given day. So we're told that the average, right, the mean uh, per day is about six. And we want to find the probability of it being seven. So if I come to StatCrunch, right? I'm going to uh, once I've chosen my Poisson, I'm going to put my mean of six, and then I'm going to choose exactly equal to seven. And when I click Compute, it's going to plug into the formula that you saw in the lecture video and produce the probability that we've requested. You also notice that it gives the distribution for the entire Poisson random variable when the mean is 6, and it's highlighting in red right, the value that we have found, that probability, and gives us that numerical value. All right now, if we go back to the textbook here, uh, letter B says that we have at least 8. All right, so you think about at least 8 means we have 8 or more. Right? We want the probability of 8 and 9, uh, 10, 11, and so I really find the probability of a multiple values, and so this is a cumulative probability. So in other words, my random variable x is greater than or equal to 8. So when I click on StatCrunch, I'm going to keep the same mean for this problem, and I'm going to choose greater than or equal to 8, and when I compute, it's going to give me that cumulative value total. And to point out to you, here's the distribution again, and it's highlighting in red everything that it has calculated, greater than 8. So nice and convenient there for me, all right? So then the last one, letter C, says what's the probability that there's no more than 4? So again, mathematically speaking, this is 4 or less, right? No more than 4, so we have 4 or less. So we want 4 or 3 or 2 or 1 or even 0 uh, heart transplants on a given day. So we're going to do four or less. So when I come to StatCrunch, again, I have the same mean. I'm going to do less than or equal to four. And when I compute, <coughs> excuse me, there's the cumulative value. You can see here zero heart transplants, one, two, three, four, uh, highlighted in red, and there's our total value. Again, um, you might be using the TI graphing calculator, and those instructions would be different. Um, and there's YouTube videos available for you, uh, and Excel as well. And this was purely for the StatCrunch tool.